Multiplying 2 to 3 digits by 2 digit number, pag-usapan natin yan. Say for example, we have 41 times 32. Okay, sa ating expression, ang 41, ang tawag natin dito ay multiplier, at ang 32 naman, ang tawag natin dito ay multiplicand. Now, step number one and how to multiply, arrange first the number vertically, or aayusin natin ito ng patayo. Ano ang tamang pag-ayos? We have 32 times 41. Again, ang tawag natin sa 32 ay multiplicand. At ang tawag naman natin sa 41 ay multiplier. Take note, pag nag tayo ng patayo, kailangan yung mga digit natin na nasa 1's place ay pantay. Ganun din ang mga digit natin sa 10's place dapat pantay din. Now, let's multiply. Sa pagmumultiply ng 2 digit sa 2 digit number, Laging mag-uumpisa sa pagmumultiply sa multiplier na nasa ones. So, ang ating ones place ay 1. So, we are going to multiply 1 times 32. So, 1 times 2, the answer is 2. Next, 3. 1 times 3 is equals to 3. Ngayon naman, Isunod na i-multiply ang multiplier na nasa tens. Ilagay ang unang sagot nito sa tens place. So dahil tapos na natin sa 1, tapos na tayo dito. Okay, i-cross out ko lang yung mga numbers na hindi na natin gagamitin. So let's proceed with 4 or in the tens place. 4 times 32. Again, 4 times 2, the answer is 8. Ang 8, isusulat ko siya sa 10's place. Okay, anong isusulat ko sa 1's place? We're going to write here 0. Okay, next, multiply natin ang 4 times 3. So, 4 times 3 is equals to 12. We're going to write here 12. Next step, pagsamahin ang dalawang sagot. So, 2 plus 0 is equals to 2. 3 plus 8 is equals to 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. Then, bring down 1. So, therefore, our product is 1,312. This one is our product. Let's now have our example number 2. If we have 36 times 45. So again, we are multiplying 2 digits by 2 digits. So step number 1, we're going to arrange the number vertically. Or aayusin natin ng patayo. So we have 45 times 36. Now, let's multiply. Again, sa pagmumultiply ng 2 digit by 2 digit number, mag-umpisa muna mag-multiply sa multiplier na nasa 1's place. Okay? Magsa-start tayo kay 6. So, we are multiplying 6 times 45. So, 6 times 5, the answer is 30. Since 2 digit ang ating sagot, okay, i-carry natin yung ating 3. At isulat natin dito, 0. Next, 6 times 4 is 24. Plus 3 is equals to 27. Now, tapos na tayo sa 1's place. Let's now proceed with our 10's place. Pero bago yan, ang ginagawa natin, cross out natin, ang mga numbers na hindi na po natin gagamitin para hindi po tayo malito. And then, since nasa tens place na po tayo, pwede po tayo rito magsulat ng zero. Para ang ating susunod na sagot, isusulat natin sa tens place. Now, let's multiply. 3 
times 5 is equals to 15. Again, ang sagot natin ay 2 digits. So, ang kaliwang number or ang kaliwang digit ay i-carry over natin, which is 1 and then right here, 5. Then, multiply 3 by 4. 3 times 4 is equals to 12. 12 plus 1 is equals to 13. 3 aligned to 2, then 1. And then lastly, we're going to add the two partial products. We have 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. 7 plus 5 is equals to 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. 3 plus 3 is equals to 6. Then, bring down 1. So therefore, our answer is 1,620. Again, 45 times 36, the answer is 1,620. To our example number 3, we have 23 times 313. Again, first step, we are going to arrange the number vertically. O, patayo. We have 313 times 23. Now this time, we are multiplying 3 digits by 2 digits. Again, dapat po pantay yung ating digits sa 1's place. Pantay ang ating digits sa 10's place at hanggang umabot sa 100's place. In our case, wala pong katapat ang ating 100's place. Now, let's multiply. First, let's start with the 1's place sa ating multiplier. So, we are multiplying 3 times 313. So, 3 times 3, we have 9. 3 times 1, we have 3. And 3 times 3, we have 9. Next, nasa tens place. This time, we are multiplying 2 times 313. But then, bago dyan, i-cross out muna natin yung mga number na hindi na po natin gagamitin. So, i-cross out na natin yung 3. So, we are multiplying 2 times 3. The answer is 6. Ang 6 isusulat natin sa ilalim ni 3. And then, lagyan po natin ng 0 yung ilalim ng 9. 2 times 1, the answer is 2. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. And then, add. So we have 9 plus 0, the answer is 9. 3 plus 6, the answer is 9. 9 plus 2, the answer is 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 6, the answer is 7. So therefore, we have 7,199. So again, 313 times 23, the product is 7,199. Okay, sana ay na. Now, let's now proceed with our last example. Say, for example, we have 64 times 825. Again, aayusin po natin ito ng patayo. We have 825 times 64. So again, we're going to start with the place value of 1's. So we are multiplying 4 times 825. So 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Dahil 2 digit ang ating sagot. So we are going to carry here 2, then write 0. Then 4 times 2 is equals to 8. 8 plus 2 is equals to 10. 2 digit ulit. So we're going to write 1, then write here 0. Next, 4 times 8 is equals to 32. 
32 plus 1 is equals to 33. Right? 33. Now, let's move on to the place value of tens. Okay? So, cross out natin yung 4. Hindi na natin gagamitin. Cross out natin yung 2. And then, cross out din natin yung 1. Para hindi po tayo malito. Now, we are multiplying 6 times 825. So, we have 6 times 5 is equals to 30. So, dahil 2 digits, so carry over yung digit na nasa kaliwa. So, we are going to write here 3 and then 0 here na nasa tens place. So, again, lagyan natin ng 0 yung katapat ng ating ones place. Next, 6 times 2 is equals to 12. 12 plus 3 is equals to 15. So again, 2 digit po yan. So we are going to carry 1. Then right here, 5. Then last digit, 6 times 8 is equals to 48. 48 plus 1 is equals to 49. Dahil wala na po tayong i-carry dyan, isulat na po natin dyan yung 49. Then, add. Okay, pagsamahin po natin, we have 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. 3 plus 9 is equals to 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 4 is equals to 5. Okay? So the answer is 52,800. Ating tandaan, sa pagmumultiply ng 2 to 3 digits by 2-digit number, una, iayos ang mga number ng patayo at pantay-pantay. Laging mag-uumpisa munang mag-multiply sa multiplier na nasa ones. Isunod naman na i-multiply ang multiplier na nasa tens. Ilagay ang unang sagot nito sa tens place. At panghuli, pagsamahin natin ang dalawang sagot. Mga bata, sana ay natuto kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Maraming salamat. Paalam!